What's up, everyone? And welcome to Realize TV. What's My up, name is everyone. Welcome back to Realize TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, today we're here in my shop, gonna be working on this POS, and we're gonna try to keep it from breaking axles at next week's event. That's gonna be our mission for today. I'm really not looking forward to it, to be honest, but good thing today I have Chuck with me. Who's gonna probably do all the work. Who's gonna help me do this. And magically, your car's not gonna break axles anymore, uh, because why? Why? Tell me why. Because I worked on it, and probably the axle spacers that we're gonna put in. Probably the axle spacers that we're gonna put in. It has nothing to do with you. Anyways, what else did you get? You got something else this week. I did get something else. You did get yeah, something I got else. Some 326 power coilovers. Sick. Yeah. That it, looks pretty sick. That's a sick box. We are going to. Oh, you're just oh, gonna drop it like Jesus. that? Jesus. I'm gonna slam my car, bro. You're gonna go lower than you already are? Yeah, look at how much clearance I have. How cool the, is that box? First of all, the box itself from 326 is super sick. Boom! So, dude, the box is tight. It's gonna be sick. Oh! What is it? Those are not coilovers. Those are not coilovers. They're not coilovers. What are they? Is oh. that from the junkyard? They're headlights. Ooh. That's pretty sick. Some Skyline bricks, boy. I would have much rather you had 326 yeah. coilovers, though. See, if you compare the bricks to the projectors, come on. Oh, you got so the these ugly. are cooler than the projector one. like Sylvia bricks. Look, you got the big projector, ugly, and then these are bricks. People definitely give up their kidneys for bricks. Exactly. Is that the same for R32 Skyline? Yeah, definitely. Wow. Yeah, I actually got out of surgery last week, so. What? <laughs> I mean, that's cool and all. You got some used headlights, but what about the 326 coilovers? No, there's no coilovers. There's no coilovers? No, there's no coilovers. You ready? What are you doing? Mom! Hurry go. up! You're in jumping jacks? I got my glove hole. <laughs> I told you that thing doesn't work. I think you bought the wrong size. Got glove. my glove holder. See? Didn't work that time. Got my glove holder. What? <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, these are the thick ones, too. Did oh. you like them thick? Oh, did I get them too small? <laughs> I think you should iron your jumpsuit. What am I gonna iron my. This is not a dress, dude. I think I got these gloves too small. <laughs> okay, step one remove bumper. Right? That's already halfway done for you. <laughs> you know, the thing about working on drift cars is sometimes it just requires a little patience, Chuck. Oh Watch and learn. Look at that now. See? Full range of motion of the jack. Well, I, I know you must have a lot of patience to be dealing with these axles. Is All that's left now is the shake test. Ooh. Good. All right. That's it? Now you can, That's all you're gonna do? Do it again. Now you can slide underneath. What? Do it again. It's shake test. See, didn't go anywhere. So now you can crawl under there, Chuck. You crawl under there. What's that for? This makes it easier to take my wheels off. You know, do some nice manual lug a here. I think that's the Titan one. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I was like chugging yeah, on that you were. <laughs> Yes. You were. So confident that it was in reverse. I'm really thinking about this right now. Okay, think about I it. I didn't even need to take the wheel off to do this. I was actually wondering why you were gonna, I thought you were gonna hit the center nut with it. <laughs> why does this happen to me? Why do I do this to myself? Oh, no, it's fine, man. because you know what? We're also going to raise the coin levers a little bit. You're gonna bit. do what? Sorry, uh, louder, louder mm, for the mic? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pull the wheel because we're gonna kind of Look into the mm. lenses, look into the lens, look into my eyes. Tell us what you're gonna do to the car. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna take the uh, wheel off because we were gonna kind of um, <clears throat> uh, raise the car a little bit. You're going to raise the car a little bit today. It's not what I said. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I just wanted to make sure it was going the right way. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Cool, so now we're all set up to come back tomorrow and start nice. No, <laughs> now, get on your back. Uh, what size are the axle bolts, 14? <laughs> I think they're 14s. You can't live the stance. The, the axle nut bolts are not 14s. You're gonna break it loose with that? You're gonna break it loose with that open-ended wrench? Yeah, because I don't tighten them to make them easier to pull off. I feel like I'm missing some wrenches. I don't know why I feel like. I feel like how could you be missing them when you don't use them? Chuck, why did I invite you? You need my help? You're not even helping me, you're just filming me. That's the help that you give all the time. That's not true, I actually do help. Ooh! What is that? That sounds like a car with no pistons. It smells like two-stroke. Well, that smells terrible. 
Dominic Toretto? Oh, definitely Whoa. with those sunglasses. Holy cow. That looks great. You just pull this thing out of the dealer or what? Dude, pop, pop that. Let's, see, this. Let's see the other one. Come on, camera. Me? What? Yeah, Why man. Teddy has to be in some videos. <laughs> He's in the video yeah. all day today, Lazy. don't worry. Ooh. Damn. Whoa. Wait, hold on. Wait, I'm confused. This is not a V8. RB26? Ooh, RB26. Dude, so what's going on with all this? I thought I thought you were gonna rebuild this thing stock. What stock? So what turbocharger is this? Blind person. Too big. Battery. Is it too big? I think it's too big, but it's enough. Did it's you get numbers on it's the dyno bigger yet? Bigger than the engine. Top it, secret. Top secret. Top That's secret. a lie. How much? You don't have numbers yet, do you? No numbers yet. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, look at all that smoke. Who is that? Chuck, these are definitely 14s, bro. They're 14s, you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I put the wrench on the bolt and it didn't fit. I told you they were 14. You said 12. What a noob. Yeah, what a noob. You went on the wrong side. Oh, that is the face of torture. Right there, I guess. Oh, why? In this episode of how to round off your nuts. Wait. <laughs> I got all the bolts up. Time to pack it up. It almost feels like I left a bolt, but I don't feel any. Why? Hammer time. <laughs> what are you bleeding? I don't know. Just take a look. I don't know. Oh, nothing's there. Woo! Did that work? Cake. How did all that shaking help at all? Okay, let's see what these axle spacers look like. Okay. You brought them, right? What? Yeah, you brought the axle spacers. From where? In the house. What house? That we just came from. What? No, you... The axle spacers. What axle spacers? You were supposed to bring those. You were supposed to bring them. No! I asked you, did you grab them off the table? Where'd you put them? <laughs> I'm dead serious, where are they? Dude, I don't even know what it looks like. I might have left him in the office. I'm gonna call the secretary really quick. Who's the secretary? Our secretary, I realized. I didn't know we had a secretary. Mom, mom, can you, can you check in my car for, for something for me, please? She has it. She has it? Yes. Because you forgot them. Because you forgot them. Oh, hell no. You forgot. I asked you to grab Heck them and you no. I was like, hey Chuck, if you're getting out, can no. you grab the envelope? No. No. Okay, we're gonna come get them. Apparently this is Waste Teddy's time 2019 or something. Maybe drive all the way back over there and go pick them up. We could have been done by now. No, no, there is no way at yeah. the rate you were taking we the been axles done. off. We would not have been done. Now we gotta delete, and look, now we left Jonathan. Jonathan came to hang out with us and we're like, hey Jon, can you just guard the shop? And now he's hanging out all by himself. Well, because somebody forgot the axle spacers. You forgot the axle spacers. You forgot the axle spacers. You forgot the axle spacers. Don't pass blame on something that was your responsibility. Your responsibility. No, your responsibility. When I, these are your axle spacers. When I asked you to grab them, it became your responsibility. You didn't ask me to. I asked you specifically. No, no, you can't even spell specifically. I can't believe he keeps blaming me. It's your fault. I don't understand how it's my fault. This is your place. You left it in your car. It doesn't make any sense to me. Oh my gosh, how long are you going to be in there? Well? Well what? Did you get it? Are you kidding me? What you were supposed to grab. 
I don't understand how you walked out with it again without it. I forgot. You forgot it just how you forgot it the first time. You forgot it the first time. I had I've never even seen that before. That's why I told you to grab it. I was like, grab the little black padded envelope. I honestly feel like you never told me that. Pretty sure I told you that. I'm pretty sure you didn't. Pretty because, sure the time when I was like, otherwise, hey we Charles, can you pick up the black padded envelope? Poor Ooh, favor. Are you calling Charles? You. Ten hours later. Sun's down already. Yeah, the sun is down. All right, so we got these axle spacers from GK Tech. From GK Tech. Well, I didn't know your car was a workbench. Yeah, it is. Which side is left and which side is right? Doesn't it come with directions? Do you see any directions here? Oh, you're doing it for me now? Ta-da! But I'm pretty sure this goes into the hub, actually, not on the axle. It, it ends up in the same place! You have a point. Chuck, what if this actually solves my problem? I think it will solve your problem. Do you really think so? Yeah. Because, like... <laughs> what happened to the axle spacer? <laughs> oh, dude. Where'd it go? You're kidding, right? No, where'd it go? It's in there. It has no, to be. No. Oh, it came out. Oh, there you go. Like a glove. This is without the axle spacer. Okay. And so now you put the spacer in, right? Right, so this is with the 10 mil spacer in. I mean, oh, now and it it's basically touching now. It just looks pretty much snug. I mean, right now I'm like pushing it out. Right. This is like resting right here. It's and right it's resting there. right up on it. I hope that does it. Mm. I've never had anyone have so much trouble putting axle bolts in. I just want to cry. Don't cry. No, it's because there's something in my eye right now. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! You know, Yon's still here. Yeah, oh, oh. What happened to this? Maybe it's your Drift Tengoku gloves. Chuck, why is this so difficult? I feel like... I feel like it's because your skill level anybody, is lower than the job. Anybody... Wow, that's rude. Putting a bolt through a hole should not be a difficult process. Yeah, see? I know what I'm doing. Watch, it's gonna be totally stripped. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? <laughs> I just want the bolt to go through the hole. What is happening to me? You got your gardener gloves on. You actually grab the gardener gloves? I mean, what other gloves are there? How are you even gonna use your fingers with those fat... Oh, that's a good... Gloves. Are you, wait, are you actually going to do this right now? Dude, it's already the end of the day. These gardener gloves don't work very well. I told you that. Yeah, and I already got one. You didn't. Hi. You might be able to leave tonight. Oh my gosh. Axle spacer. Come on, man. There we go. Oh, this is horrible. Hey, so you still don't want to use the ratcheting side? I can't on this side because of the exhaust. I feel like you kind of could. Uh, do you want to take over? Nah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. God. Show the world how dumb you are. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up all my neighbors. Do it. Wow. That's like 12 Uggadugas. Wow. Okay, well, why don't you work on raising this coilover? What do you mean? What do you mean? No, I'm not actually gonna raise the car. I was just saying that in the video. Oh, perfect. I need somewhere to hang my light. I'll just go ahead and hang it right in this. <laughs> Holy crap. And hang it right oh in this my little. Gosh. How convenient is that? That I could do you think that? Nissan put that there? Yeah, or, it, that. oh, that's gonna rust straight through. Oh, it's already, oh no. Perfect. Great. Thank you, Nissan, for doing that. Which way? This way? Righty tidy, lefty loosey. From the top or the bottom? Man, those coilovers are from another century, dude. These are JIC, man. These are old school. It sure would help if you had some coilover keys. Or spanner oh, wrenches. Man, I don't need that. 
So now what are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just lowering the car. Just lowering it. It actually looks like you're raising it. No, no, I'm definitely lowering it. So are you gonna stop at like what? Yeah, after I've- Three I've, or four inches? After I've lowered the car below the capacity of the ground, stop. You're not fooling any of the viewers. So what I'm hoping this is gonna help clear up, I'm gonna take this really quick. What I'm hoping this is gonna help clear up is not only get better geometry for the axle, but also relieve this insane rubbing up here, which could actually be a problem. Right. Okay, that's good, man. You wanna be able to take it off, right? That's what... <laughs> You're gonna wake up the whole neighborhood? Again? How many Yaga Duggas though? 12. That's what we did 12 on the last one. Okay. Go. How, what way is the scale, Julian? Ju Julian said like one, like, <laughs> that's an Ugga Dugga. Oh, Explain the theory of Ugga Duggas. So, Ugga Dugga is as soon as you hear the <laughs> from the impact gun, uh, usually depending on the impact gun, but it's usually about to run the same. It's about 70 foot pounds. Per Ugga Dugga. Per Ugga Dugga. So, which is about like. <laughs> That's one Ogadoga. That's one Ogadoga. So that's about 74 pounds. That was about 12? That was at least 12. Okay. Mm. Oh, God. That's actually not that bad. Oh, That's a oh, drivable that height. Horrible. Roll it back and forth, let it settle. No, not like that, all your bundle's gonna fall off. It's for testing purposes. Yes, right? it's, and it's not ugly. Wow, wow, are you kidding? You don't need help, right? Nope. Nothing's changed. But it's fine, that's how it, Yon, what do you think? Dude. Uh, it's drivable now, and he's not gonna snap any axles. <laughs> what? Nothing. What? Man, those things are old. Wow. They are. Owens coils, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Again, again. No, for your own enjoyment? <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, looks pretty good. Does it look any different? Yes, it does. Oh, the tire is no longer more. tucking. You working out? <sighs> I'm going home. Why do you look like that? It's because it's like 2 a.m. now. It's not 2 a.m. It's 2.30. Honestly, the amount of time it takes you to do stuff is ridiculous. Oh God. Chuck. What? Why don't I have the right tool in this to shop? I don't know. I was kind of asking myself the same thing the last three coilovers that you did. Terrible. Nice. That's actually a good height. I mean, it's not as it's not as cool as before, it's but definitely higher. guys so seven hours later we're finally done with today's project but yeah. axle spacers are in we raised the car up probably about an inch, inch and a half in the, the back an inch yeah. and a half in the back and then i think about half an inch in the front or something like yeah. that so and that axle's sitting nice and straight in the back so the axle surprisingly is sitting nice and straight anyway if you guys enjoyed this video do us a favor smash the smash button down below Right. If you guys like content like this, make sure to check out some of the other videos on our channel. We got new videos when, Chuck? Some Friday. Every single Friday. Some Friday. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.